Electricity was shut off at Pea Mountain today, stopping all receiving and transmitting activity at that site. Pea Mountain is quickly being phased down, and the work to dismantle that site is already well underway. Any electricity that will be needed by the work crews from this point on will be provided by portable generators. The dismantling process should take a few more months. If you're wondering, that shot of Pea Mountain was taken from Camp Tudo today, and the Recreation Center is sponsoring a trip to the camp this weekend with sign-up still underway. This desolate-looking area was a supply area for Camp Century, the nuclear-powered ice station that was built under the ice cap to provide a location for polar research. Such tours are conducted periodically through the Recreation Center, and as we swung by there today, we found the camp not only empty, but fascinating. It gives you the feeling of stepping into a time warp, realizing that here people work under conditions far worse than those we could imagine today at Thule, risking their lives so we could better understand the Arctic region and nuclear power. Huge swings were carried up by trackmaster vehicles from Camp Tudo to Camp Century over the ice, carrying supplies to the underground station. Weather forecasters say the forecast for weather tomorrow is almost a carbon copy of today's which provided some beautiful shots of the area. As you can see, there's lots of ice, snow, and some water since it's getting warmer up at Camp Tudo. There was a trip that was scheduled up here last week through the Recreation Center. It's now scheduled for this weekend. It was canceled last week because of the weather. At least that's one of the reasons that was given. However, we found out by doing a little investigation of our own that it was also canceled because the water slide was not completed. The final testing on that was completed last night, and they say it's now ready for touring. We'll have a look at stocks and weather in just a moment.